we're inside the Tools tab inside the plugin. The first tab that comes up inside here is the indexer. What you're going to want to do is install the ABC 3K plugin on every WordPress site you own, and here's the reasons why. For every site that the plugin is installed on, the indexer will work. Go to the Tools tab, come inside the indexer, go to Setup, and you'll see that it's already enabled by default. And the current local URL, this is just a test site, will be the site that you have installed the plugin on. What the indexer will do is every day it's going to go through a series of pages and posts on the site it's installed on and it will get those pages and posts indexed and it will continue to go through the list. The next day it'll pick up another series. The day after that it'll pick up another series of pages and posts and it will continue to cycle through them on a regular basis for as long as that plugin is installed and your account is active. Now what's really neat about this is we've added the feature that you can add in a new URL here. And this URL can be to anywhere. Here's a suggestion. Let's say you have articles written on eZign or any article directory service. Uh, let's say you're Aaron Wang and this is your article. Well, once your article is on here, you have your links in your article. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that these articles are getting indexed on a regular basis. So you could just grab the URL to this article, come over here, and add this here. And once you do, you'll see that it gets put right here. And this will also get put into the rotation of being indexed on a regular basis. Now the indexer itself, you can run it at any time manually as well if you'd like. So you choose the index size, how many different indexing sites you'd like it to go to. I, I make a suggestion of doing it 10 at a time and click run the local indexer and your results will show here. It's going to take a few seconds to do that so I'm not going to, but you can run it manually whenever you want, but it is set up to run automatically every day. And every day it does that, it is creating backlinks for you. Let's move on to the ping list. The ping list is very simple. This is the part of the site where we've added uh, to what comes stock with WordPress's ping list. Every time you get a, you make a post, WordPress sends everything to pingomatic.com. Under the writing tab, you'll see here rpcpingomatic.com comes stock with every WordPress site and what will happen is every time you publish something this site gets pinged through WordPress so what we've done is if you update the ping list we've added dozens of pinging sites to that list and we we don't overwrite that we add to it and the reason is is these continue to get you more backlinks also on autopilot We've also made it so that it's your choice whether you want to update that or not. So you'll do it when you first install the plugin, or you can come into the Tools tab under Ping List, click Update, and that's it. It's done. You'll see that this changed and it's over with. Now the RSS Submit tab, what this does is WordPress creates an RSS feed for every post you create. What the plugin does is it will take that RSS feed that WordPress has created and it's going to add it to several RSS submission forms and feed directories. So this will give you a status in this table as to what's going on with the feed and how often it's working. Before I explain that, let's go to the setup. So here's some things you have to configure. When should this submit feature run? Every two weeks, once a month, or every three months. Depending on the aggressiveness and how often you think you're going to be adding new posts to each individual site is how you should choose this. If you're not going to be adding posts regularly or often, go every month or every three months. If you're going to be putting stuff up there a couple times a week the way you should be, then I would go every two weeks. When should this run? Which post should be included? Should it run all available at the time of submission, even if they've been run in the past, or only the ones that have not been submitted. 
If you're running it every month or every three months, I would run them all again. But it, this feature is up to you. You just set these two things and whether all of them, even if they've been run in the past, which is what I would do, and probably run it every month or every three months and then just save it. You'll get a little success message that it's set up and you're done. Then the plugin does all the work. If you'd like to add a URL to this list, you can do it here. This will give you a table of the list that it goes to and you can delete them if you'd like. I wouldn't suggest it. And then you can submit a post to the feed URL here. You can manually run this if you'd like as well. But this is another feature that we've set up so that it, the ABC 3K plugin automatically builds backlinks for you. And again, this with the indexing feature is another reason why I strongly suggest you install the ABC 3K plugin on every site you own. Because as long as your subscription is current, the indexer and the RSS submit feature will work. The social bookmarking tab at the time of this video is not available yet. The API is being developed for it. So when that comes available, we will let everyone know and have a video for that. This BL index is very similar to the indexer. What it does is, depending on the account size you have, you are allowed to add URLs to this list and they go to a private blog network of over 30,000 blogs. And for every URL you submit, you're gonna get between 14 to 18 backlinks per month. So if your account allows for 100 URL submissions a month, that means that you're going to get a guaranteed minimum of 1,400 to 1,800 backlinks per month. So the way what you do is you, you'll see the list here of when they were submitted, the status of them, and the URL. But you can add backlinks by clicking here. Just simply put the URL. Let's, say, let's use Aaron's example again of the eZine article. How many times do you want to submit it? So let's say your account allows for 100 a month and you want to submit this 10 times, then that's it. In this test example, we've exceeded the monthly allowance, so I don't have the submit button, but there would normally be a submit button right here. And if you have more questions, just click on the help video here. So that's the reason why I suggest you install this plugin on as every site you own, so you can take advantage of the indexer and the RSS submit feature. But that's how they all work and what I suggest you do with them all. All right, continue reading down the page. Make sure you go over all of the documentation and all of the videos because it will make a difference in guaranteeing your success or not. Thank you.